Mode set. Executing. What's up, gamers? It's your boy, CDROM 1019. Welcome back to the Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. Alright, so we've got a little bit of sword training. He was telling us the ins and outs of the training. The key to, the tra to uh, sword fighting is going to be learning these insults. And I'm not really that surprised by it because that's kind of how it was in Curse. There's a bunch of these pirates walking around the island. Uh, we're probably going to have to practice on them. So let's go see if I can uh, meet up with a few of them. Or just practice against them. Whatever you want to be a scurvy lover. My name is Guybrush Streetwood. Prepare to die. Alright, so... Okay, so this is how I'm going to learn the insults and their proper retorts. Uh, so I already know the one for that one. I know that one. I don't know this one, though. I once owned a dog that was smarter <coughs> than you. Oh, yeah. Apparently he doesn't either. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, you better stop waving it like a feather duster. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I'm not going to have the, uh... Oh, yeah? See, this, so this is bound to, I, I know it looks like I'm... I'm So this is going to happen for a while. I need to fight against a bunch of different people. See, I'm, I'm already learning insults from him, but I'm not learning the retorts. And that's fine. Uh, it's just, it's a little more time consuming than difficult. Alright, so now I'm going to have to challenge some others. Whoops. I don't want to be here. For crying out loud. What you be wanting, you scurvy lover? Okay. Uh, My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them. <laughs> I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Yeah, I don't know that one either. I am rubber, you are glue. You make me want to puke. Oh, yeah? So again, I'm You win. I'm doing I'm doing that on purpose only because I kind of have to. I don't have the the proper responses. Uh, I think that one's... Alright, I need to stand by here because they're just going to have to keep spawning until I can bump into them. This one's bloodthirsty. He's probably going to be way too much for me, but... Oh, nope, missed him. <clears throat> I'll go stand in the fork in the road here, I guess. Watch you be wanting, you scurvy lover. Ever notice how all these roads start to look the same? All these roads start to look the same. Yeah, now that you mention it, they do. Uh, it's probably just that we're tired. <laughs> My name is Guybrush Threefoot. Okay. Prepare to die. All right, let's see. Uh, I don't know the response to this one yet. You were a contemptible sneak. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. Alright, see, so by this process, I'm learning all the retorts. Uh, I don't think I heard... No, I didn't hear the response to that one. Oh, yeah? I give up, you win! All right, let's just stay where we are. Whatever you want, you scurvy lover. 
My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay, uh, let's try that one. You make me want to puke. You make me think somebody already did. <laughs> you have the manners of a beggar. Yeah, I don't have that one. Oh, yeah? Soon you'll be wearing my sword. Oh, I know that one. That one's first you better first stop you waving it like a feather duster. Like a feather duster. Uh, let's see. What have I not... Uh... There are no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You just never learn them. <laughs> Uncle! Uncle! <laughs> it's gonna keep happening. This is gonna take some time. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay. Uh. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Uh, da, da, da. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. Ooh, uh, what was, did I get the one to that one? That was, uh, yeah, I, I'd be in trouble if you ever used them. trouble if you ever used them. Uh I've heard you were a contemptible Oh shoot, I should have used uh Too bad no one's ever heard of you yeah. at all. That's going to be a loss. Yep. Yikes, nice move. Getting there. Got to keep learning. What you be wanting, you scurvy lover? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay, so I know all these. I don't think I did this you one yet. The manners of a beggar. Oh yeah. Well, he doesn't know the answer to that one. All right. Uh, you no match for my brains, you poor fool. Oh, you rubber. You are glue. Well, he doesn't know that one either. All right. I'm getting there. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, I want to fight. I give up. You win. <clears throat> cool. So that's one fight. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. All right. Still need to get more insults and more uh, retorts. Um. You have the manners of a beggar. Oh, I'm shaking. He doesn't know the response to that one. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You just never learn them. There are no words for how disgusting I just used that insult against you, dude. Yes, there are. You just yes, never learned them. You just never learned them. Uh-huh. This is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur. Oh, yeah. I give up. You win. Cool. That's two fights. I need to defeat an ugly pirate and a dirty rotten pirate, I think. Well... I'll I'll know when I'm ready to fight the Swordmaster once these guys tell me. Prepare to die. 
this is the this end is for you, you gutter crawling cur. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? Have you stopped wearing diapers? Okay, there's a new insult. I can't respond to that one. Oh, yeah? I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Uh, it was, uh... Two heads, no one ever heard of you. Heard of you at all. You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them. Oh, I should have just... What was I thinking? I should have used that insult against him. That's fine. So now I gotta use that new insult against this guy and see if he gives me the right uh, answer for it. Prepare to die. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Why? Did you want to borrow one? Alright, there's the response. You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. Uh I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them. Uh, there are no words for how disgusting you are. Oh yeah. I think there's one more insult that I need that I haven't heard yet. You have the manners of a beggar. Oh no, there's a couple more. Oh, there's the retort to that one. I needed that. I got this scar on my face. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, I I can't respond to that one. I am rubber, you are glue. Uncle, uncle. <laughs> Bloodthirsty, dirty rotten. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. Nice night we're having. Whoops. Oh, I sure hopes you had something more important to stop me for. Yeah, I just pressed the wrong button. Why do you guys talk so funny? Pirate lingo. It's how everybody talked back then. <laughs> Come on, Guybrush, play along. Okay. <laughs> Prepare to die. All right. Uh, new insult. face during a mighty struggle. Oh, I'm rubber. You are glue. Okay, he doesn't know the response to that. Think. Yeah. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Why did you want to borrow one? Have you stopped wearing diapers? <laughs> I just said that to you, dude. Why did you want to borrow one? You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. You make me want to puke. Uh, uh, you make me think somebody already did. Wow, you're good enough to fight the sword master. Really? Okay, uh, I don't think that's correct, but... Apparently, we can go see the Swordmaster and Fighter now. Uh, I don't think I have all the insults, but uh, if I need to take a few tries at it, I can do that. Hello, Carla. How dare you approach the Swordmaster with... Oh, it's you again. My name is Guybrush Treepwood. I've come to kill you. Nothing like being honest. I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. Let's get this over with. My sword is famous all over the Caribbean. Oh, of course. She's going to use all... All right. So this is this is typical of games of uh, the Monkey Island series. So I'm going to get all these insults and then... 
the person that I've been working my way up to is going to use a completely different set of syntax. So, uh, my story is known all over the Caribbean. Um, oh, Too bad no one's ever heard okay. You at all. Yep, that made sense. If your brother's like you, better to marry a pig. Okay, better to marry a pig. Uh... How I don't... appropriate. You fight like a cow. Nope, that was the wrong insult. My wisest enemies run away at the first sight of me. Uh See, I don't have a retort to that one. Jeez. Oh yeah. I don't know why they this game told me I'm ready to fight the sword master. I'm clearly not, but my name is feared in every dirty corner of this island. Your name is feared. Um Uh let's See that Oh yeah. My tongue is sharper than any sword. How am I still fighting? Um, your tongue is sharper than any sword. First, you better stop waving it like a feather duster. Okay, good. You are a pain in the backside, sir. I'm a pain in the backside. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. Yeah, <laughs> nope, that didn't work. Still going. I've got the courage and skill of a master swordsman. Uh huh. To 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 skill of a master swordsman. And I've got a little tip nope for you. Get the point. Nope. Uncle, uncle. I hope this teaches you a lesson. Now scram. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back. There's. I need. Um. I. I'm really surprised it told me I was ready to fight her because there's a few more insults that I know that I need. So let's keep fighting until I get these insults. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. <coughs> Alright, come on. Teach me some new insults. Um... I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. I hope now you've learned to stop picking your nose. Alright, that's a retort I needed. I got this scar on my face. <sighs> come on, dude. I hope now you've learned to stop picking your nose. Oh, you make me want to puke. Oh, yeah. Okay. Come on, teach me an insult. You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them. You have the manners of a beggar. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. Enough to fight the sword master. No, I'm not, but that's uh that was something. What you be wanting, you scurvy lover? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay, uh yeah, 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 yeah. My tongue is sharper than any sword? Okay. Wait. Wait, these are the insults that Carla taught me. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know I could use these. My tongue is sharper than any sword. 
That's not fair. You're using the sword. <laughs> Wait, what? Why is I've got the courage and skill of a master swordsman. That's not fair. You're using the sword master's insults, I see. Why is that an option? <laughs> he can use the Swordmaster's insults. Why is this a thing? My sword is famous all over the Caribbean. That's not fair. You're using the Swordmaster's insults, I see. Wow. You all right. Well, the Swordmaster. As amusing as that is, that's not helping me. So. Whatever you want, you scurvy lover. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. <laughs> All right. For real, though, I need, um... There are no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You just never learn. I just need two of these other... Other, um... Insults. There are no words for how <sighs> These guys aren't... See, these guys, I know what insults I need, and these guys are not giving them back to me. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. And I, I have to I have to let them try and insult me, too. That's part of the... Okay, that's the other problem. I need to lose on purpose, because I need to be getting these insults. This is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur. Oh, I am rubber, you are glue. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. Oh, dude, come on. <clears throat> wow, you're good enough to fight the sword master. No, gotta keep trying. Come on. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. So I have to start kind of losing these on purpose just so I can get them to cycle through their insults. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? You make me want to puke. And I've got a little tip for you. Again, I'm kind of just. I'm doing this on purpose because I want them to keep insulting me. You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. And I've got a little tip for you. Get the point? Yeah, I'm gonna have. <sighs> uncle, uncle. There's two. There's one. There's two insults that I need, and the retort. Or three, actually. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Come on, dude. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. And I've got a little tip for you. All right, come on, give me a new insult. I've spoken with apes. There we go. All right, so I don't know the retort to that one, but I now I have that insult. There's one more I need. Come on. I got this scar. <coughs> During a mighty struggle. All right, well. Oh, yeah? Yikes, nice move. Okay, so that I've learned a new insult. Now I gotta learn the retort to it. Move out of the way, or I cut my way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Uh, I've spoken with apes more polite than you. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. Okay, good. That was quick. There are no words for how disgusting you are. I need him to tell me he's not going to take his my insolence sitting down. Oh, yeah? This is the end for you, you gutter-crawling cur. 
and I've got a little tip for you. Get the point. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Oh, I am rubber, you are glue. You have the manners of a beggar. Oh, I am rubber, you are glue. Wow, you're good enough to fight the sword, man. <coughs> There's two more insults and retorts that I need. I don't know how long it's going to take me to get them. What should be wanted, you scurvy lover? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. All right, I need to back off because he's just not going to get this. I need to give him a stupid insult. Um. Boy, are you ugly. What's the matter? Just get out of sword fighting class. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah? You're no match for my brains, you boy. These guys aren't giving me these new insults. Oh, yeah? <clears throat> Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! <laughs> Excuse me, sir. This better be important. There's a bloodthirsty pirate, so. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. All right, I'm gonna try this one more time. Um, so. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. Oh yeah. All right, need to back off. Uh, you call yourself a pirate? Ha! Is that the best you can come up with? You have the manage of a beggar. He must have taught you. A yeah, yeah, yeah. People fall at my feet when I see me coming. Ah, that's a new one. I don't think I have. Uh... Oh, I don't see that one on this list here. Oh, okay. All right, that's fine. I needed to get. And I needed I that insult. Tip for you. Get the point. Yikes! Nice move. Okay, so let me do another battle now that I got another insult. Stopping a pirate is <coughs> to your hell. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Okay, so people fall on my feet when they see me coming. Feet when they see me coming. Even before they smell your breath. There we go. Two more insults. Come on. My Beautiful. Your blood. I needed that one. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. You fight like a dairy farmer. Uh, I'm gonna tell him. How appropriate! You fight like a cow. I can use this new insult against him now. Uh. Where'd it go? Wait, where's the in insult he just gave me? It was uh, my handkerchief will wipe up all, I wipe up your blood. Huh. Where is it? That's weird. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. Oh, I am rubber, you are glue. Weird. I know he I know I just heard him use it. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Maybe I can't use it this battle. Why did you want to borrow one? Are you up? You win. All right, let's see if I can use that against another fight, because that's important. Aye, this better be. <clears throat> My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. 
Here we go. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So you got that job as janitor after all. Good. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. All right, so there's only one in other insult that I haven't learned. I don't. I probably don't need it. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. All right, I'm just gonna give her. I'm gonna give him a stupid uh a swordmaster insult just to get this over with. Um, whoops. My sword is famous all over the Caribbean. That's not fair. You're using the Swordmaster's insults, I see. Wow, you're good enough to fight the Swordmaster. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Let's uh, see if I can take on Carla again. Hello, Carla. And boy, are you in trouble this time. Let's get this over with. My tongue is sharper than any sword. Your tongue is sharper than any sword. Uh, you better, better stop waving it. stop waving it like a feather duster. I've got the courage and skill of a master swordsman. Uh, and I've got a little nope, tip wrong response. Get the point. There are no clever moves that can help you now. Hmm. No clever moves. I think that I'd be in trouble. I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them. Nope. Okay. Guess not. If your brother's like you, better to marry a pig. Brothers like you, better to marry a pig. Uh, hmm. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Tarn. Thought for sure that was a good response to that. I usually see people like you passed out on tavern floors. Even before they smell your breath? Okay, there we go. No one will ever catch me fighting as badly as you do. Alright, I don't think I have the response to that one. That sounds like that's supposed to be, um, uh, you run that fast. Oh, yeah? Every word you say to me is stupid. Okay. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. Okay, that makes sense. My sword is famous all over the Caribbean. Hmm. Oh, too bad no one ever heard of you. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. My last fight ended with my hands covered with blood. Uh, okay, that... So you got that job as a janitor, or... Covered in blood. <laughs> uh... No, this couldn't be it, right? It's not... I hope now you've learned to stop picking your nose. Oh, I guess so. I give up. You win. All right, well, cool. I hope you're happy. You can go back and brag to all your friends about how you beat the Swordmaster. You'll need proof. Here. This should convince them. <clears throat> cool. I <laughs> Is that a shirt? I can't pick that up. Wait. <laughs> it says, I beat the Swordmaster. 
<laughs> okay, well, that's one of the trials. Let's go back to the pirates and show them the so the shirt that we beat the swordmaster. All right, back to the scum bar. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. Sorry to bother you. I'll uh, be on my way. Alright, I really hope there's going to be a faster way into town. I don't want to keep going through this lookout point. Alright, back to the scum bar. Okay, good. So that's uh just be running along now. <clears throat> so that's one mission down. So we need to figure out now about thieving and treasure hunting. We've got a sword, so let's start with treasure hunting. Uh I'm gonna need a map. So Ah, right. Of course. I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier, but probably because I was too busy on the sword thing. Now that I got pieces of eight, I can go talk to that guy in the town square and buy the map from him. And then I need to use that map to go find the treasure. Excuse How's it going there? Me, but now it's only you again. Come back for the map for the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island, huh? Sure did. I hope you brought enough money this time. Sure did. Let me make sure. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Yep. I'll take it. It'll make a swell gift. There you go. You made a wise decision. Now get lost. Okay, so I've got a map. Uh, let's see. We need to find the treasure now. So, whoops. I need to look at this map. I think I've been had. This is no map. It looks like dancing lessons. What? Oh, jeez. Okay. Back, two, three, four, left, two, three, four, right. Okay, so back, left, right, left, right, back, right, left, back. Uh, okay. This means something. <laughs> I gotta go back to the woods and follow this. Okay. Yeah, that, all right, that makes the most sense. Okay, um. All right, so. Yeah, all right. Okay, so back, left, right, left, right, back, right, left, back. I might have to look at this a few times. Uh, actually, let me, I'm just gonna, let me just take this down really quick. Pull up a notepad. Let's see. So back, left, right, left, right, back, right, left back okay all right so i need to go to the fork in the woods where i was earlier and this this um i have a feeling that this uh this test of thieving is going to involve needing to go to governor marley's mansion um so i'm going to need to get a flower from there eventually can i not go this way i guess not okay
Okay, so let's go to the fork. <clears throat> okay. So back. Nope. All right. Shoot. Wait a minute. You can go to the woods by traveling to a place a little fork above the lookout on the general map. Yeah, I did that. All right. So in order the numbers left two three means go left once, not three times. Yeah. All right. So which way is back is the question. That's left. Is this? Oh, is this back? Oh, okay. Left. And then right. Left. Right. Back. Right. Left. And then back. Uh, this looks like where it would be. I just don't see an X. Go to, oh, I got to go to the right? Yep, there it is. Okay, let's take out our shovel. Walk to the X. Uh, wait a minute. What's... Is, isn't that... That's not... Okay, that's give. That's why. Whoop. Damn it. Why did I do that? Use. I gotta... See, I gotta memorize these symbols. Alright, that's use. Use shovel with X. Too long. Hours pass. <laughs> hey, I think I hit something. Oh boy. It's a t shirt. <laughs> Not my size, but a nice one nonetheless. It. Jeez. Another t shirt. Well, I guess I should put all this dirt back now. More hours pass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I that's the second one. So there's that. The legendary lost treasure of Melee Island. This carefully reproduced piece of Melee Island history has delighted thousands of would-be pirates and their families for generations. Remember, there are other pirates on this island. So go easy on the treasure. Leave some for the next person. Sheesh. <laughs> okay. Here lies treasure of such unimaginable wealth. Well, you'll just have to dig it up to believe it. <coughs> A shirt. By the Melee Island Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> okay. Well, that's two trials done. Uh, so the third is going to be the thieving trial, which is probably going to involve the mansion. Um. All right, so... I have to get inside. I have to get past these poodles. Um, let's see. I have the meat, but I need to get. I need to drug it. So, a prisoner. Visit the prisoner on the. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. There's a prison on the far side of town. I need to go to. I guess. Uh, most shrubs grow in the woods. Visit the fork. General map. <laughs> okay, I need to go back to the fork. Why do I keep pressing select? Come on. Oh, do I go back here? How do I get out of here? Okay, there we go. All right. 
again, let's go back to the fork. <clears throat> so, I need to find... Uh, it says explore the woods a little bit. I guess by going through the woods randomly, I'll come across these flowers that I need. Yep, here they are. Cool. My, what an unusually bright yellow they are. My, what an unusually bright mm, yep. yellow they are. Okay. Uh, pick up. Cool. So... Uh, again, I'm using a hint system to kind of speed up the process a little bit, but normally what I would have to do is go talk to Otis, and Otis would tell me about these. In fact, maybe I'll just do that just because. Uh, let's go leave. He's in town, so that's where I gotta go anywhere. Or anyway. Yeah, I'll go talk to Otis. It should be on the way. <coughs> Okay, back to the archway. Prison on the far side of town. That must be this building over here. Yep, there's Otis. You gotta get me out of here. I'm a victim of society. Not to mention halitosis. <laughs> Hey, it's hard to keep my breath minty fresh when there's nothing to eat in here but rats. Talk to Death Breath? No thanks. Oh, jeez, really? I can't talk to him? Why? Alright, no, forget this. I'm not doing this just through to talk to Otis. So, the reason I was gonna talk... <laughs> I gotta go back and buy a breath mint just to talk to the guy, but I, I already know what he's gonna tell me. So, the, <laughs> uh, the only reason I was thinking about talking to Otis is because Otis is gonna become a character in a different game later in the series. Spoiler alert. Um, but whatever, it's not important. Alright, so I he was just gonna tell me... Otis. All Otis would tell me after I give him a mint is that he was in the prison... Uh, he was put in prison for picking flowers, I guess. Um, he incarcerated him for picking him the, uh, the yellow flower that I just picked. So, big whoop, big whoop, whatever. Alright, uh, so, use this flower with... It's some sort of meat or meat-like substance. I knew that. Use meat with flour. Okay, there we go. So I drugged it. Meet with meet with condiment with the deadly piranha poodles. There you go, dogs. Okay, sleep notice. These dogs are not dead. They are only sleeping. No animals were harmed during the production of this game. <laughs> All right, sleep type dogs. All right, well, into the governor's mansion, I guess. Uh-oh. This looks like a job for Fester Shine Top. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hypnotize court. What? No, not the red button. Okay, push the red button. <laughs> Tremendous the yak. Big, ugly, hairy yak wearing some wax lips. Push. Push. I can't move it. 
Pull. Pull. Okay. Walk to. Pick up. Pick up staple remover. Use. On. Trement. Well, that happened. I'll need this. Okay. They must be nuts. What is happening? Wax lips? Gophers. <laughs> Gopher repellent? Use. Gopher. Use Gopher repellent with another Gopher. Use Gopher repellent with Gopher horde. Funny little man? Okay. Fabulous. Beautiful. Open lock. I can't open it. This uh -oh. is the du pick up heavy chair. Use heavy chair with sheriff. <laughs> oh, this is the dumbest thing I've seen all day. That should hold for a while. If only I had a file, I could get the idol. A file. Okay, so I guess there's an idol in here that I need. Uh, huh. Uh, huh. Right. Um, he's controlling himself. What's going on? This part is automatic. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a file. Right. So, uh, uh, I have to be in the governor's mansion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh-huh. I needed a file. You, ugh. Hold on. Okay, well, guess I'm going to have to get that, ugh. Come on, really? All right. Well, that's fine. I picked up a few things in that in that scuff. So, okay. So I'm gonna have to go back to the store, <laughs> and I have to talk to Otis. Otis has a file. Good thing it's not that far away. Okay, into the store. Hello, sir. Got my eye on you, boy. That's steal fine. Anything and I, break your legs. Well, I don't want to steal nothing. I'd like to buy a mint, but I don't know where they are. Uh, mm -hmm, safe. Hmm. I don't see any about stealing something. Think again. I don't really see anything that I can about stealing something. Think again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not thinking about stealing nothing. What do you want? Uh alright, so I need I need a mint. I could really oh. use a breath mint. Okay. I didn't I was looking away from my screen for a second. Take the whole roll. That'll be one piece of it. What else do you want? Uh, nothing. That's it. Do you have oh. files? Did you mean hanging files or nail files? <laughs> yes. Ah, sorry. Fresh out of those. What else do you want? All right. Guess we're going then. I think I'd just like to browse. Oh. Be my guest, fancy pants. Okay, so we got, uh, it was somewhat easy. We got mints. I, it, sorry that took so long. I, I was looking at something else while I didn't notice that he said, hey, I could use a mint here. So, all right. So, 
give whoop, mint to Otis. Thanks. So, have you come to release me? Who are you? <coughs> My name is Otis. At least I think it is. I've been in here so long I can hardly remember. You gotta get me out of here before I lose my mind completely. Can't you see? I'm innocent. But why are you in jail if you're innocent? I was framed. I didn't touch the stupid flowers. What flowers? The yellow conish in dormi flowers in the forest. It's against the law to pick them. So, uh, how's the food in there? Oh, you know, the usual. Slaw, grog, gruel, rats, bugs, and body lice, if I can catch them. I have a carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made, even though she knows I detest carrot cake. Actually, the cook at the bar is an old friend of mine, and sometimes he sneaks me food, like pork trimmings, mostly feet and lips. But once in a while, he brings this really odd rump roast. What was so odd about the rump roast? Well, it's the only rump roast I ever seen with a prehensile tail. So who'd want to frame you? I don't know who exactly. I think it was a conspiracy. And if there's one type of piracy I don't like, it's cold piracy. But I'm Tish. Would you happen to have a file? You think I'd be in here if I did? All I have is this carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made me. You can have that if you bring me something to get rid of these rats. Well. I can't stand carrot cake. About that. Uh, I've got this gopher repellent. Hey, this might work on the rats. Thanks. Here's the cake. Hmm. I do like carrot it's cake. Heavy. Well, this cake is heavy. I wonder why. <clears throat> uh, let's see. So... Hold up a sec. Uh, open it. Can I... Alright, hold on a minute. Oh, open. Okay. Hey, there's our file. I don't suppose I can use this file to get Otis out of here. That doesn't seem to work. Nope. Alright, well, guess you're stuck in here, Otis. See you later. Alright, back to the mansion. Okay, let's go back into the hole. I've got the file. <laughs> Walk to use manual style manual of style with shredder. Give stylish confetti to heavily armed clown. Walk to throw wax lips in fire <laughs> walk to <laughs> use file on rhinoceros toenails use file on lock pick up fabulous idol walk to <laughs> was a close one. At least I got the idol. But I'm not done with you yet. Oh, jeez. Thought you could get out of here with the idol of many hands, did you? Look, I can explain. So can I. You poisoned the governor's pet poodle. 
They're, They're just sleeping. sleeping. Broke into her house. The door was unlocked. <laughs> and stole one of her most valuable pieces of art. No, you've got it all wrong. <coughs> oh, really? Well, let's hear your explanation. Uh... Well... The pirate leaders told me to do it. What's going on here? Uh-oh. I caught this hoodlum making off with you. It's Governor Marley. He says the pirate leaders told him to do it. Then he's not the first decent person they've led astray. What? You heard me, Festa. The real question is, how did he get in here while you were on guard? I, uh... Oh, just go away, Festa. I can handle this. Uh... Elaine? Deal with you later. <laughs> Elaine, I can explain. Sorry about him. He's new. I'm Governor Marley. Governor Elaine Marley. Yeah, Elaine, I I can so I can explain. Made you do it, eh? <laughs> well, relax, Mr. Threepwood. I know why you're here. Believe me, you're not the first who's tried. Although I have to admit, not many get as far as you have. <laughs> Golly! My lookout told me of your arrival. I wanted to meet you ever since I heard your fascinating <coughs> name. Oh, gee, well... Tell me, Guybrush, why do you want to be a pirate? You don't look like one. Your face is too... Sweet. Oh, well, thank you, Elaine. <laughs> These responses! I see. Well, you're obviously not in the mood for idle chit-chat, are you? No, that's not it, Elaine. I suppose you've got many more exciting things to do. I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Threepwood. Bull. <laughs> and Wrigley? Uh, I really wish I knew how to talk to women. <laughs> All right, well. So, uh again, if you've never uh, if you've never played Monkey Island before, Where she might <sighs> Excuse me, Mr. Shine Top, but you're blocking the doorway. I think you need to cool off. Hand over your sword. No. Uh oh. This is oh. the road, my little pantaloon pal. Your troublemaking days on Melee Island are over. My plans for the governor are far too important and much too near completion. To risk letting a would-be pirate like you get in the way. So long, Mr. Spice Cake or Droop Face or whatever your name is. <coughs> hmm. This might actually turn out to be a pretty good day. Okay, so, uh, you remember that, uh, bit about the achievement I mentioned at, uh, the beginning of the first episode? Yeah, well, this is where it is. Uh, and I'm not kidding you when I tell you that it's basically to just let Guybrush drown. And the problem is that if you remember what Guybrush said at the beginning of the game, he can hold his breath for 10 minutes. That is not an exaggeration. That is a skill he has in this, in this world. Uh, so I'm gonna save. And why don't you just come back later? Hey, Nick. I just committed a felony. Did it involve that big knife you've got there? <laughs> yeah. What should I do with it? Well, get rid of it. I'll throw it in the water. No, don't do that. Why not? I need to ditch it. It might wash up somewhere. What do I care? My prints won't be on it. 
I'm throwing it in. Eh, I might need it. See ya. See ya. Ah, and there we are. So, the, uh... Oh, no, that wouldn't give me the thing. But, oh, I can pull it up this way. Ten minutes later, Guybrush can hold his breath for ten minutes, but not any longer than that. Alright, so, I think... Drift. I think that's it. I don't think I can control him anymore, because I think he's... out, but... Yeah, he turned green in the old version. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. So let's load. Um, okay. Now that I've got the achievement. I can't reach that from here. Hmm. Oh, can I pick up the idol? Ah, there we go. I can walk wherever I want now. I guess I'll be needing swords. This one will do. Okay. There we go. That was easy. <laughs> well. What was that? I'm so confused. <coughs> hey, what are you doing just standing around? The governor's been kidnapped. What? By whom? LeChuck's got her on that ship that just sailed off. He caught her alone when she came down here to rescue you. Oh, I'm afraid we've seen the last of her. So good old Elaine came out to save us, but, but got captured by the ghost pirate LeChuck. Uh, so where were you this whole time? Sleeping? <laughs> hey, I'm a lookout, not a bodyguard. <laughs> where did they go? LeChuck's taken the governor back to his hideout on Monkey Island. I'm afraid that no pirate on this island is brave enough to follow him there. But hey, good luck. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, they left this note. You can have it, but I don't think you'll like what it says. <clears throat> Gee, thanks. Oh, governor, why did you have to risk your life for me? Maybe you cared for me more than I thought. Just as I now realize how much I care for you. Oh, Guybrush, don't... It's my fault the governor's in this mess, and I swear I'll get her out of it. Even if I have to sail to Monkey Island myself to get her. Well, how heroic of you, Guybrush. All right, so... What did this note say? Attention, Pirates of Melee. Your governor is alive and well and by my side as she was always meant to be. If you try to find us, you will only meet with horrifying disaster. Yours truly, Captain LeChuck. All right. Let's go uh, show the, uh, whoop, these other pirates in the, whoa. Wow, the scum bar's empty. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Okay. What's wrong, old sot? The governor is gone. LeChuck and his spectral crew came and got her. They put her in the ghost ship and spirited her away. She was so good to me. Always conveniently losing those health board reports. For a small consideration, of course. What'll become of my business? Oh, woe is me. What can I do to save her? <coughs> ship and go after her. The ghost pirate's lair is on Monkey Island. Everybody knows that. Don't ask me how. All you need to do is find a way there. Why should I do that? Why, for love, my boy. Don't deny it. It's written all over your face. Love. <laughs> Where can I get a ship? 
Why, Smiling Stands to use shipyard, same as everybody else. Tell them I sent you. We're old friends. Will you join me? Uh, alas, I cannot go to sea. An old war injury. I'm sure you understand. Right. I'm off. Good luck. Be sure to wear your mitts. <coughs> and your galoshes. And don't forget to write. Bye now. Well, I suppose that's a good good a place as any to uh to uh stop. Um I know we needed to let the pirates know, but uh they appear to be gone and we need to get on a mission to save Governor Marley. So Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun. And make sure you follow me at twitch.tv slash chaos control channel for more fun like this. I will see you guys next week for another episode. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.